So if you follow the uh, the Legend of Zelda franchise, they're at a installment now called Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. And you can look at a title like this as a direct parallel to what's going on in human history. You have a procession of time and a transference of power that's going from a more kingdom monarch monarchical uh, monarchical type of structure with monarchies and it's going more into a freelance type of thing and this is how it's being set up by those particular orders or those particular groups or even social engineers but the fact that they have tears of the kingdom as a title for Zelda which surrounds the mythos of the Triforce dealing with the mystical union the mystical divine union they uh, this is representing a time of mourning of mourning because in the prior Zelda installments Legend of Zelda installments Link and Zelda were killed off which points to the simulation um, the simulation theory when we deal with quantum concepts and uh holographic reality premises they were killed off and the monster that is typically the antagonist Ganon had a title called Calamity Ganon the utter devastation and this Calamity Ganon in his full demonic form uh, kills both Link and Zelda destroys Hyrule and I think there's some time traveling going on where they're sent back into a future into a future this again goes into simulation theory and links it up with synchronicity Zelda is the feminine force she's the divine feminine Link is the green man the Link so what is the link to understanding the divine feminine? You got to be the green man. The one who goes for green energy. The person who represents nature. Link's ears are like that of an elf. And the elves are like the rulers of, of the troll kingdom. And the inheritors of the earth, of the planet. They're like guardians, guardians of the solar system type of things. The elves and trolls are, are looked at very highly according to certain mythos and when you tie this all into the uh to what the legend of zelda is communicating through game you can see a connection you can see a connection that we have been dealing with a calamity ganon as a people it has killed off both the link and the princess ganon being part of the tri the triune nature of reality itself that you're gonna have a, a left hand path a right hand path and a middle pillar consisting of both paths link is the bridge between both paths the pure being zelda the impure being calamity ganon right the evil being calamity ganon and from there you have the tears of the kingdom the morning how do we transition from the morning to where we want to get to next we have to be the green man and we have to be the link between royalty and calamity. So again, this is Super T Sigma with Sigma Program. And I thank you for your time and attention over here. Reaching is teaching. Remember, continue to vibrate high, people. Peace.